Well, welcome back to San Diego Solar Ovens uh, Solar Cooking site. We're trying to spread the word about the benefits of using solar energy to bake practical meals, healthy meals, uh, whenever the sun si shines and you have the time. The, today is April 15, 2012. It's, it's right after a couple of days of rain in San Diego. And we have a beautiful uh, sunny Sunday. And here you can see that the BTU meter is registering uh, just a little over 450, 460 BTUs power per square foot of potential thermal energy from light. The solar oven is basically uh, a mini greenhouse. And the light passes through the transparent covers where it's converted into thermal energy. One BTU is one match, a British thermal unit. So during the Industrial Revolution, British thermal units were used uh, widely for steam energy power production systems. So here we're using it to steam food, baked potatoes, and today we're going to be grilling and browning some beef steaks that we're going to combine into a uh, delicious uh, tomato vegetable gravy with mashed potatoes. So let's go into the kitchen and we'll look at some of the food preparations. Right now is the most important time of uh, your solar cooking experience. We're, actually, we're preheating the ovens empty, they're sealed, and they're right around 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So food cooks at 180. Normally we won't put our food into an oven until it's at least 250 degrees. And then we know as it goes through the course of the afternoon that that temperature will not only hold but increase as well for cooking time. So we're expecting to put in about uh, two and a half to three hours of labor uh, while we do other chores. Relax, read the paper, and let the sun cook our food. Let's go into the kitchen. So here we are back in the kitchen getting ready to, uh, as our solar ovens are preheating, now we have the prep time. You know, 20 minutes to a half hour is basically what it takes the oven to preheat. Iris, we're a little ahead of ourselves today, so the ovens are all ready to go. We're just combining behind on the food meal. You can see uh, these are uh, marinated uh, cube steaks, and we go for lean meat whenever we can. So we're going to go ahead and saute these in the first sun oven for about 40-50 minutes. And then at that time, they'll be basically cooked nice and tender, uh, done. And then we're going to add them into an oven bag along with some, here's our mashed potatoes. That's going to be boiling in a separate pot. And then we're going to season uh, all of the vegetables here with leek, garlic, onions, and even a uh, little bit of a shallot there. They're strong. So that type of flavor goes really good for us with uh, tomato sauce, gravy, and beef. So that's the food plan. And let's get it in the oven. It's been almost uh, two hours since we started uh, sautéing our meat and vegetables and basically we're planning on another hour and a half of sun and now we're ready to combine our roasted uh, cube steaks, marinated steaks and vegetables with our oven bag. Oven in a bag, are, these are known as turkey bags also, are uh, high temperature baking uh, tools with solar cooking or you could also do it in an open pan if you choose. So you have these options now to go with a black roaster pan, an oven bag, or just an open rectangular pan. We need to knock off the condensation and uh, remove the cooked food and combine them now here on the table. We'll watch out for that condensation steam coming out of there. Can you zoom in there and see? We're a little over 250 degrees. And we've got a, a tilting pan here that we have to watch out for because it levelizes any food or plate that you're cooking with. I'm going to close that oven up right now. And there you can kind of see beautifully done is the uh, onions. And the celery has uh, lost some green color to it, but it's all, we're following a heart healthy diet. So all of those good looking juices down there in the bottom for us, uh, we're going to skip that part and just finish cooking off with the food here right into the oven. There's our tomato sauce. We're going to just add that meat and vegetables right in there just like that. And again, we're slow cooking in a sun oven, 325 degrees. Hmm, got some onions in here though I am not going to lose. I am going to get a few of those onions out of there. Yeah, we lost a few veggies in the bottom of the pan here, so we're going to put those in with our sauce now. 
That looks wonderful. Okay, so solar cooking. Of course, the oven is closed. We're still trying to retain our heat there. Still have a couple of hours to go in the afternoon sun. I'm going to top that off with some more sauce. We've already seasoned the earlier batch with some, uh, probably about a half a cup of red wine and some herbs and seasonings that go with the tomato sauce. Now to finish up with the oven bag, you just seal that up like you would with a turkey. Tighten it down and then we have a tie here that seals in the cooking flavor, kind of like a casserole in the bag. So again with solar cooking you have a lot of different uh, utensil options, the ones that work best for you. Uh, within your time schedule and your use. So here we're ready to go back in the oven. Uh, just below 275. We're going to finish this off in the next hour. That's the tilt rack, sun sport, so that rotates whenever you move food around. I can come out here with a pair of scissors and cut this off if I needed to and just have that cooking bag lay nice and flat in there. All right, again, we just added about 20 minutes to our cooking time because I opened that glass the second time I've opened the glass up, but dinner's almost done. We'll come back later and check the potatoes. Now it's time to, uh, we're going to check on our uh, boiling potatoes here. We're cooking potatoes. We're going to mash these and make some mashed potatoes and put those back in the oven. So it's kind of kind of be like steamed, boiled, and then baked potatoes in our sun oven here. So we use Columbia Bakeware, it's the workhorse. There you can see potatoes are done. Nice and soft. We can let them sit in that for another 15 or 20 minutes, but they're ready to mash. And there you have it. Okay, now we've uh, let some self-rising um, dinner rolls get prepared to go in. One of the cool things about a sun oven is as long as you're ready to solar cook and you've got it pointed at the sun, it's going to stay hot. So here we have, we finished one part of our meal and we're ready to put in the bread. So we're taking out the potatoes quickly, putting the bread in. Remember, we were adding 20 minutes to our cooking time when we do leave the glazing open. So just remember that. Keep your glass lid closed. Okay, so the rolls have been going here. Actually, uh, they should be pretty brown now. It's been over an hour, hour, hour and a half on these rolls, so they're nice and brown. Mmm. So you can kind of see how you can use a solar oven to cook two to three different items uh, in, in, one, in one heating session, especially if you're able to take care of an oven and, and move the food in and out, three or four ovens. Now we're going to just check the condensation here and the temperature on our beef steak tomato gravy using a turkey bag for that. Here comes the condensation again. Uh, and we're holding there 275. We're bubbling nicely. That's going to be done easily. That's probably already done now. So anyway, cooking uh, in the sun, it's free. Free energy reduces your carbon footprint and it's Good use of uh, outdoor green power. Thank you. So, welcome to dinner. We'd like to present our beef steak with tomato gravy and vegetables, uh, homemade rolls, mashed potatoes, and of course a fresh green salad. And that's our solar three course meal for today. And we hope you have any questions, you'll visit, visit us on our website and learn more about the benefits uh, and enjoyment of solar culinary cooking arts. And thank you again for watching.